Hi, so this is Max, short for Mobile Automated Cat System, for this guy. Hello. <laughs> um, and what it does is it dispenses food at a certain time, um, and you can also dispense food manually. Um, you can set time. You can also set the eating time, uh, which is twice a day, and you can also uh, change the amount of food that you dis dispense. And you can also navigate through the menu using the up and down buttons. And so uh, the components that I use for this project are the servo motor, which I don't remember the actual uh, weight amount, but I think it was like 20 kilograms or 28 kilograms or something like that. Um, and it was funny because I didn't actually know that there was a weight limit to servos. So initially I used a, a much smaller servo and this kept sputtering and it didn't work. Um, so I went on Amazon and got a pretty heavy-duty one and here is the LCD and it also comes with a potentiometer so I can change the brightness of the screen um, and again I used a bigger potentiometer that I got from Price. Um, several push buttons, eight in total over here for the whole menu and inside over here there are LEDs um, that light up when food gets dispensed and it's not a component but PVC for all the food to travel from up there all the way down to the food bowl. And inside, um, kind of harder to see, but there is an RTC module. I don't know if it's focusing, but right over there. Um, let's see, let me try to shine a light here. An RTC module. Oops. Uh, I can't really see it. But anyways, there's an RTC module in there. Um, you can see the push buttons, and then you can also see the resistors right over there. Um, and let's see if there's any other major components in there. Uh, not so much, but in any case, this was kind of a, uh, a quicker project, I guess you could say. Um, losing focus here. And um, the original inspiration came from this guy, Miamax 1.0, which, uh, as you can see, is not as sturdy. It's a little bit more flimsy, kind of the leg is bending already. And what it did was it also had an LCD, and, but an IR receiver, and it would catch a snack and it would throw the snack. And yeah, I kind of wanted to upgrade, so I came over here. And now for the features, so the first feature I guess I want to point out is the menu. Um, the menu has a few different screens, so you can go up and down the menu here, and you can see every option, set eating time, reset clock, dispense amount, and lights. So I guess I'll just start with lights. So you can either set the lights on or off, if you set it on, then the lights come on and what I liked is um, I live in a small apartment and um, I just thought it'd be cool to kind of have a night light so this kind of serves as a simultaneous night light slash food dispenser for the cats who wake up at a certain time like 6 a.m. and do not stop meowing so it stops them from meowing because it automatically dispenses food and it also serves as a night light when you need to use the restroom at night um, and in any case um, that was the first feature, so you can go down and once again turn it off and the lights go off, boom. And next, if we go down, we can set a dispense amount. So I, just because it's not dinner yet, I'll just set it to one and I keep uh, pressing the select button, so boom, selection saved. And if I dispense, um, how this dispense amount is, varies is the servo motor rotates more or less. Um, so if, like you just saw, if the dispense amount is on one bar, then it only rotates once. So I'll press the red dispense button to manually dispense. And the, L the LEDs light up one at a time each time it gets dispensed. And um, so again... Going into the menu, this is showing the, the time right now. Um, 
which I haven't changed since uh, daylight saving, so it's a little bit late. So it's actually a good opportunity right now to change the time. So I want to reset clock. So boom. And then let me see what time, what day and time it is. So it is 8.12. So can't really see focus. So the date is going to be, what did I say, 12. So the increase. And then 11, 12, and then you save it by pressing select. Um, and let's say, oops, I made a mistake. Then you can press the B, uh, the back button, and you go back. Um, but it is the 12th, so I'll keep going. And the month is December, so I, I keep going. The year is 2019 for a few more days. And then the hour currently is 8, so that is right. And the minutes are... 13, so I want to go down to 13. Fifteen, fourteen. Should I wait for the time to change at the exact moment? Let's see. Give me one sec. But in any case, I'll just show the back feature again. You can go back and then you can select. Let's see. Boom. And then set seconds. And it just changed, so I'm going to set it to 3 seconds, and time is reset. So like that, it goes to 8, 14, and time is reset. And now, I can reset the clock, or sorry, not reset the clock, set the eating time. So, like I said, this has two eating times, one for the morning, one for the night, and you can split it up. Um, so set eat time a.m. so why don't I go 7 because they wake up at 6 30 then they're hungry but they, sh they just have them wait until 7 a.m. set a.m. eat time 7 set p.m. eat time why don't I go 8 and then I don't want to wait till 30 so why don't I go um, why don't I go 8.20. Let's see if that'll work. Yep, so five more minutes. Actually. Sorry, I'm messing up a little bit. Okay, so I'll set it for 8.20 p.m. And so morning, it should dispense food at 7 a.m. And at night, it should dispense food at 8.20 p.m. So select, and it's saved. So now you have a schedule set for your feeding time. And I don't actually want to wait 10 minutes, so why don't I reset the time again? Reset clock, and then everything will stay the same except for the minutes, which I'm going to bump up to 19 and 3 seconds. And so right over here. In about 50 seconds, this should dispense food. Um, and why don't I, just because, change the dispense amount to three. Actually, why don't I go two? Save it at two. And so in a few seconds, this should rotate two times. And that... Um, should happen so in another 20 ish seconds then how this is happening is I use the RTC module and so uh, there's a library function that uh, checks the time so I stored that time in a variable and when that variable becomes true then it dispenses the food so And yep, 820. Food came out. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So this project was pretty cool because it was the first time I got a chance to really kind of design and engineer something. Um, these are some of my notes. This is specifically for 
on the servo over there. Um, and so I just kind of uh, drew things out because I think the hardest thing was after I got this wood was kind of figuring out how I wanted everything to look and how I wanted to implement everything. So um, there was a couple days that were wasted just kind of having ideas. And I also um, had my friends help cutting the wood and pretty much um, my friend helped really saw everything and drill everything. Um, but the designing part, I came in um, and I quickly found out that it's easy to kind of get lost in ideas and kind of back and forthing it. But um, yeah, so like this was the original idea was to have the the button compartment slanted in the front, but then um, actually trying to cut that and kind of drill it in was a lot harder than expected. So what ended up happening was this kind of rectangular box of a brain that holds all the components was made. Um, and what's cool is that you can actually take this off because it's attached by magnets and so you can move it out and why I wanted to do that is because in any if there were any issues that I was having here um, I could take this out and the the I use the app Mega by the way um, this can actually come off because it's attached on velcro but I kind of don't want to take it out now because it's working perfectly fine um, so I can debug any issues that I was having, which I did initially, um, cause the lights weren't turning on the way I wanted to, um, and whatnot. So that was cool. Um, so drawing out was definitely a, a process that I learned in this. Um, this was the initial goal kind of sheet that I had that, that listed all the basic functions. Um, and here are the components. Um, which, yep, RGB lights. Uh, what else do I need? LCD, servo. Um, I initially used a motion sensor to try and dispense food, but I kind of scratched that because it was kind of redundant and I didn't really want my cat overeating because um, he's already 20 pounds and he's really fat and he doesn't let the other cat eat. Um, an RTC module, no Bluetooth module. Um, I wanted it to be able to controlled it using my cell phone, but uh, it was just kind of a little iffy, so I kind of decided against that. RGB lights, yep, and then the LRR battery is for the RTC module, so it stays on all the time. Um, and yeah, and then this was the original mock-up drawing um, that has all kind of the functionalities. I don't know why I put the motion sensors right there. Kind of, it would be, that mean it's up here, so I don't know. Um, again, I scratched it because it, it felt redundant, and these are more kind of mock-up drawings. This is what um, this part, the motor, initially looked like, um, but and then more mock-ups. But yeah, it was really, really fun kind of designing and and really, I guess, quote, engineering this. It was, it was really cool. So in any case, that is Max, and not as automated as I want it to be, definitely not. The final version which is why it's max uh, v2 um, but there will definitely be more to come so thank you